There's a saying that says, what doesn't kill us makes us stronger. Hey, my fellow YouTube traveling to Ecuador friends. I feel like we're going through an amazing experience where we're just going to come out the other side so much stronger than before because all of the natural ways of health that we've been practicing all of our lives have always done us real well in North America. Now that we've moved and lived permanently in developing country, we're learning so many things in order to be able to adapt and become stronger. The essential oil of uh, eucalyptus is really easy to get here. It's easy to get here in Salinas. Fortunately, it has some really good healing properties, one of them being anti-inflammatory, uh, anti-spasmodic. I have uh, some issues from the antibiotics in my sinus. I actually put some in my nostrils like that. And uh, it's a stimulant too. So you don't want to do this at night because it might keep you up. Try that instead of a cup of coffee. <laughs> Okay, so we've got some questions here today. Italian guy, Renato from Italy. Hey, I bought your uh, coastal ebook and I'm coming in a couple of weeks to the coast and I have some questions. You say don't go out after dark, so what are your sons doing in the evening? Do they go out after dark? Is it dangerous? Of course, I'm talking about having common sense and staying in the tourist zone. Okay, I never said don't go out after dark. I don't tell other people how to live. Everybody's got their own opinions and you know how that is. This video log, vlog, is about how we live. And some people get something out of it, and that's great. I've helped them. I've always said if I only help one or two people, that's great. I've done my job. I'm not telling you not to go out at night, okay? But I do tell you that we also don't have any issues with crime. We don't have any personal safety issues. And you read about all these problems that foreigners have, from time to time and uh, we do offer guidelines in our books thanks for buying it we appreciate it on how to stay out of trouble the Ecuadorians will always tell you when you ask them you know about crime they'll always revert it back to you it's up to you they'll tell you so yeah you want to go out at night go ahead but understand that you've just moved the lever of the possibility of something not going the way you had expected you know you've, you've moved a notch further uh, in the tourist zones, you know, night. I mean, what's night? I mean, right after sundown, you're probably okay for the first hour or two, but I wouldn't push it. What changes if you go out with an Ecuadorian person? I don't think it matters. Remember, I'm not giving you my opinion. There's, you need to watch more videos and do more reading. By the way, we have the discoverquencaecuador.com uh, uh, blog, which is really a Discover Ecuador blog because there's so much on it about the coast and uh, other areas, Quito, and so you can get more information there. Did you finally find the filter for purifying water? No, there's no filters here. Okay, I can get a filter in the States on eBay for 20 bucks, but by the time you order it online and have it down here, it's going to cost, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that at least that $20 filter will cost at least 50 or 60 what do you do if you want to eat fresh raw veggies or fruits like strawberries that can't be peeled? Do you freeze them before you eat or wash with something special? Ta-da! Of course you can always freeze stuff and that would be the solution and uh, if you wanted to eat strawberries you would wash them and then uh, freeze them. Okay amigo, vaya con Dios. <laughs> si lo quiere. Ya? <laughs> <laughs> Buen día. Michael says, oh, by the way, Michael made a donation to the ministry. Thank you very much, Michael. We appreciate it. Since you got that nasty parasite, is it lodged in your intestines? No, wait. It is lodged in your intestines. There's no way to get it out. Uh, unless you take antibiotic at the right time that it is hatching its egg. Well, what they do is 
That's right. After the eggs hatch, they take the antibiotic, kill it off. There's a little bit of timing there, but even if it laid eggs, you can take the medicine again, which, by the way, you better talk to whoever prescribes it for you. you better talk to them because there are uh, guidelines. You can't take... It's so strong, it kills everything in your body. And I said in another video, it has made me sick just from killing all my good flora. This is something, guys, this is something we have not had to do. We have not gone through this kind of a problem. I haven't taken antibiotics in 35 years. Anyhow, we're in the process of changing how we do things and learning. This is a learning experience, and we're in the process of doing everything new. There's no way to, you know, unless you take them out at the right time, hatching its egg. That's scary to say the least. Well, yeah, you, you get to a point where you're... You, you, you're thrown into this new situation that you don't have the tools for and you weren't ready for it. And so there's a certain amount of uh, panic going on, you know. So, and that's why uh, we did the antibiotics. But we're not sorry we did the antibiotics, but it's not a way of life. It's, uh, it's an emergency uh, thing for us. I'm not telling you what to do. Uh, for us, it was an emergency thing stemming from the, the lack of knowledge of being in an endemic area, which is a situation we haven't been in before. But now we're learning, we're getting smarter, we're getting better, and uh, we're going to be taking care of this thing in a natural way. And it's not just about what we ingest so that we can kind of stun these things and get rid of them. You always have to take a, a multiple prong approach when you approach uh, things that are uh, hurting your health. And the multiple prong here is, it's not just what you eat that's tainted or drink, it's how tainted things come into your household. Like, well, the water and the uh, restaurants, eating out, uh, and uh, buying things at the Mercado, an environment that's a, a low hygiene environment. Uh, things have to be really taken care of uh, in a good way. You have to scrub things, clean them. You have to, you know, you have just, it's a lot of effort. The problem here is reinfection. There's not a, a problem killing it one time. As I say, people that travel and go back home, they can take their medicine and then they're in the safe zone. You got safe zones, developed world, which also have their own areas that are not safe. Uh, developed world's not 100% safe. They're, they have areas that have issues with this too. Uh, it's just that it's a minimal area. It's a small area compared to, geographically speaking, it's a small percentage. And then you've got endemic areas where, where there's a central issue with the, the water is very central to life. Everybody needs water. Uh, and then you have other uh, issues. When you get your food at uh, places like Mercado's, uh, I don't want to use statements like you're more at risk. You're 100% at risk. That's not really a risk. That's a, like a given. You're going to, you know, you're going to get parasites because the, uh, there's just issues with Mercado's. They're being outdoors and, and stuff. So, yeah, you can, you can get out all you want, but reinfection is a problem. So, yeah, we're reverting back to our natural ways, and that feels good. You know, it's a sense of accomplishment. It's a sense of success. It's a good, a good place to be. And we're not out of the woods yet completely, but I feel like we're, we've made a pretty good turnaround. I want to show you something. They're all there, I just want you to see. They're not even open. This is full. These are all the antibiotics I did not take that the doctor prescribed. I spent money on them. And I started feeling ill, so I quit after one day. A bunch of other stuff she prescribed that I didn't even purchase. But these weren't cheap. These are like $45. And that was that moment right that you're just helpless and you think oh my gosh what am i going to do and this is the answer that came forward until we got a better answer fortunately i didn't take them however i had to take the ones for parasites these were for other um, microbials microbial infections because that's what happens the parasites they uh, they start eating away at your immune system and they eat your food inside you and uh cause other uh, bacteria. You start, your, your infection starts spreading. So fortunately, we've we knocked that all out with uh, natural means, except for the parasite antibiotic. Now that parasite antibiotic was so strong, 
I, I, I had to take that one, okay, because we wanted to get rid of the, the parasite. But we're in the process of coming forth with natural ways of, of dealing with that too. But it was so strong that it's knocked out my sinus and I've been out of sorts for two weeks now. I don't know if you could tell in the videos, but I've got this look. And all that money I said we spent on labs, that was for blood tests, between blood tests for multiple people and antibiotics for multiple people because it uh, was a pretty chunky expense. That's why I said that's on its way out. That's not that was a one-time thing. It's not, not going to do that anymore. So that's a victory. One of the lovely things about uh, being in Ecuador is that I get to meet a lot of nice, really nice expats or travelers, you know, people coming to Ecuador. If you're a long time follower and you've read all of our books or at least some of them, you know that we have a prescribed way of doing things at how we live here. It's not, it's not just being frugal. There's more to it than that, going local, being frugal. And there's certain principles behind it. And a lot of the things that we learn by doing, just by being out here on the street, not depending on English speaking lists and being out here and just doing it. And all the things that I've seen and with my own eyes and that maybe other people don't. <laughs> you know, when you first start doing something for the first, first time, you have to expect failure. And I've thrown out at least a couple of batches now of homemade do-it-yourself essential oil. <laughs> it's just, it's part of the deal, you know, it's a learning process.